How to understand cell phone radiation and cancer risk. Alarmed by news reports that cell phones could possibly cause brain tumors? Here's what we know so far. You will need the facts and precautions. Step 1. Know what cell phone radiation is. Cell phones emit radio frequency energy, a form of non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation, the kind produced by X-ray machines, has been linked to cancer. Non-ionizing radiation has not. Step 2. Understand the classification of the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which evaluates environmental and lifestyle factors for possible links to cancer. The IARC classifies cell phones as a possible carcinogen, meaning it's not certain whether they pose a cancer risk. The International Agency for Research on Cancer also lists coffee and pickled vegetables as possible carcinogens. Step 3. Understand why the IARC classification is confusing. Some studies into possible links between cell phones and cancer have found a higher risk of brain tumors, while others have found a lower risk. Some scientists point out that cell phones have been in use for years with no subsequent increase in brain tumors. Others say there hasn't been enough time to determine the effect on younger generations who began using cell phones in childhood. Step 4. Play it safe by reducing your exposure to cell phone radiation. Use speakerphone or a wired earpiece. A ferrite bead will lower your exposure even further. Also, limit the time you're on your cell phone while walking and when you have a weak signal. Cell phones emit more radiation when they're in motion or far away from a cell tower. Avoid wireless earpieces, which emit radiation right at your ear, albeit at lower levels. Step 5. Stay tuned to new research. The jury is still out on cell phone radiation and cancer risk. In the meantime, it wouldn't hurt to talk less on your cell phone and send text messages whenever possible. Did you know? 85% of Americans 18 and older own a cell phone.